to piss off the Marcoses. Okay. Because if you piss off the Marcoses, then the loyalists will follow him. So that may spell the doom of any Duterte uh, to become president. But a, a, a Duterte running could also minimize the chances of a Marcos. So they need each other. So I don't know. Maybe what I'm as actually looking at is that perhaps it could be a Marcos Duterte tandem. So for one to succeed, they have to. Uh, you have to work together. They have to work together. They otherwise, have, otherwise, they could cancel they, each other out. They, yeah, they could. They could minimize. And 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 of course, if you, if you, that's why the thing is, if the if the political opposition wants to stop the Marcoses or the Duterte's, then the prayer should be that both of them should run, or the opposition should minimize at least as much as possible the number of candidates that will run in the opposition or the so-called ant at least if it's not an if not an opposition but someone who would who would be running against them okay otherwise pag maglabo-labo yan interesting it's going to be an interesting time in 2022 okay professor urugue but there's there's also this uh, perspective that the more not exactly the may, the, the merrier but more chances for uh, particular candidates to make it in this particular scenario in 2022, do you think that uh, the, this scenario could be actually favorable for the Marcoses, not just for the other candidates? Because again, we just need a sizable plurality, not majority, as we have seen over the past <coughs> electoral cycles. Right. So, that, that, that is correct. Now, there were previous elections in our history wherein uh, you only need a, a small uh, plurality, not even a majority. And I think in terms of voter base, uh, the voter base of the Marcoses have continuously been...